If your neck bothers you, you may approach it from the perspective of the distribution of labor in the overall movement of this primal self-locomotion. You begin with your foot. You ground your heel in a stance that gives you a power to spring forward. You sense how pushing your foot against the earth brings about a series of changes throughout your total system. Your pelvis needs to twist to allow your knee to come to the side, and the entire spine rotates. You feel how the twist climbs up to your neck. In that process, your neck remains passive while the torso actively turns your head. You listen to the interaction as you press your palm to the earth. As in the dawn of evolution, when your hand served as a front leg, you press it onto the planet and the planet responds with its counter pressure, which streams up to your arm, moves your shoulder blade closer to your spine and adds to the serpentine motion of your back, rotating your head to one side. You allow all the other parts their share in the task of crawling. Your entire organism is refreshed as you give it the opportunity to experience what it lost when it began to walk on two legs. You invite your torso to increase its participation, sparing your neck any excess effort. Through crawling, your organism reminds itself of the distribution of labor that was in nature's original plan with the torso doing most of the rough work of rotation and the neck left to complete the final adjustments, bringing the periscope of the senses precisely into focus. With your expanded movement, your excitement about life expands as well. You feel younger, as you are actually engaged in an activity which is associated with a time when you were young, nurturing the buds of your movement style. The hundreds of awareness through movement processes provide you with a generous opportunity to unravel your programming and to enjoy renewed youth with the organic, ever-renewing movement nature meant.